Donegal, this weekend you take on Exeter in the Heineken Champions Cup final. It'll be some afternoon, won't it? Yeah, yeah, it'll be um, different, um, different experience. Uh, a normal Heineken Cup final with uh, with no supporters, but um, yeah, something we're really, really looking forward to. Um, you know, as you said, playing Exeter, they've been fantastic. Um, they've had a fantastic win of form, and they had a fantastic result there the last couple of weeks. So uh, yeah, we know where we certainly have work cut out for, for ourselves. Obviously, with wrestling losing those two finals before, you must be so hungry to finally lift that trophy. Yeah, yeah, I was I was involved in the final against Leinster and Bilbao. Um, maybe that was tough to, tough to take. Um, we had I think we had we had a good good group of players there. Uh, it was unfortunate enough that we had Dan Dan Kerr went down and in the warm up and um, Pat Lamb went down after three minutes, so it kind of disjointed a lot of our preparations that we had during the week. Um, but yeah, it was it was just you know we we. Discipline let us down, and I think we took a lot of learnings from from that final. Um, since then, that sort of it's a big area of focus that we have in our training, the way we manage uh, our training sessions, and the way we deal with referees. And um, yeah, I think we, we've definitely got a, a lot more um, <clears throat> uh, depth in our squad as well. Uh, a lot of young guys, so we played to lose just the weekend, just gone, and the uh, the average age of our squad was maybe 22, 23. And uh, I suppose if you take me out of that, it's probably maybe 17. Uh, but, uh, uh, but to be honest, it's been, um, yeah, it's been really, really good. Um, good, good depth. And um, yeah, so look, it's, it's yeah, obviously good challenge, good challenge ahead of us. How important is it to get the balance between it being a final and making sure you control your emotions and play the game in front of you on Saturday? Yeah, it's just just one step at a time. I uh, just literally just um, you know to take every moment as it comes, and, and that's basically it. Um, I think you know we're really kind of like any professional outfit nowadays. They really focus on the the technical element at the start of the week, and then towards the, towards the latter end of the week, you build on the emotional side of it as well. And um, I think that managing those emotions are are very important as well because you know it, it's. Um, Every person can manage their emotions differently, and uh, certainly, I think making sure that you have to get the job done first. And uh, I think that's where Mike and uh, Toto they've really kind of harped um, on that point uh, repetitively to say, "Look, that we have a job to do first, and it's great, to, great feeling to be there in the final." And and but at the same time, we still have to take every second and every minute as it comes. You mentioned there about Mike Prendergast. How uh, good has he been at wrestling? Yeah, he's been great. Uh, he's good, good crack to have around. Um, you know, uh, certainly we've the, like the French French boys like they, they throw throw the ball around, they love an offload, and and Mike is like uh, tried to uh, I suppose align a bit of a bit of a bit of structure uh, for the forwards to allow the backs to be able to to be able to play and to, to keep that offloading and creative element that they that they love to do, and uh, so it's a good marriage there and. Um, I think yeah, he's he's been really good. Got a breath of fresh air, and the lads uh, lads get a great kick out of him as well. And he's I can get a bigger kick out of him with his French accent, uh, for his Limbic accent in uh, is speaking in French. But uh, he's been brilliant. Uh, he's definitely put a lot of detail around the rook for us, and his his analysis is very good and, uh, on feedback for good positive feedback for the for the younger guys. And I think they've um, they've really warmed him here. It must be great to have him and Simon Zebo. Uh, you must feel like home, really, over there. Yeah, it's it's great. To, so my first year, I was, there was no no Irish lads apart from Raj, uh, but uh, Z, no one on the pitch that was Irish. So it's kind of it's great. You can I hear Zeb's talking on uh, <laughs> it's doing Irish accent. You're going to hear in the top fourteen so, uh, around me. So it's uh, so it's brilliant. Yeah, it's great. Uh, obviously, he drives drives me mad with his phone. Uh, Doing pranks around the place. Uh, he's definitely taken a few years off me, but uh, you know it's it's great. Definitely, seems he's there's um funny. It's great to have would have would or be a better place if there's more guys like him for uh, for his, his positivity and sense of humor. It's like he just shortens the day and it's, he's great crack. And uh, look at and obviously as I said Mike is uh, like I played with Mike many moons ago and I uh, know him a long time. So it's great to have him over as well and obviously their families as well. It's it's a great support system to have. Moving on to your opponents, Exeter, they have a massive pack, just like yourself, the likes of Johnny Gray, Johnny Hill and Dave Ewers. How do you do your best uh, to stop them at the weekend? 
Uh, yeah, it's, it's that's the nail there. They're very big guys. Um, like Johnny Hill is 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 incredible. Um, I haven't had the opportunity to play against him before, but uh, Johnny Gray, I know he's he's got a serious uh, work ethic and um, he's, a, he's a massive engine. Uh, Cowan Dick, he's a he's very uh, a very aggressive tackler as well and very good in the scrum. And uh, Sam Simmons is, is number eight. He's been brilliant for brilliant for them. I think he's a, a big spearhead for. For them, them in attack, and um, yeah, it's just I suppose pretty much all we can do is really focus on ourselves. Uh, you're obviously aware of how good they are, and how obviously they're now in two finals, um, so they're they have they have massive momentum and confidence as well. And um, yeah, it's just for us to just literally focus on what we can do well and uh, make sure that we're on point and um, give it as best to go as we can. The line out is obviously going to be key. Um, as an line-out expertise, how much have you studied extra so far? Yes, yeah. Uh, I had a good look at them this week and last week as well. And um, yeah, they're they're very good, um, very strong mall. Um, they're obviously John, Johnny Hill um, does a good job um, running it, and they're very competitive in defence as well. So as I said, it's just making sure. So we're having uh, our own our own hookers that are feel comfortable in, in, uh, on certain calls, and that's that's basically it. Um, just making sure that we get our own stuff right and um, and and take it from there, really, because you know I'm I'm sure they'll be looking at us as well, and I'm sure they they, they see where opportunities as well for them. So it's making sure that we can adapt and uh, and put our put our best foot forward. How much do you use your experience and leadership to help the likes of Baptiste Chauvinet and Boris Palou? And how do you work with the French international, Bernard Leroux? How good is that combination? Yeah, uh, Bernard is incredible. Yeah, he's 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 uh, he's very aggressive, and yeah, he's he's, he's got a massive engine. He uh, just can keep going. Um, I think Betty Susan is is just incredible. Um, he's, his, his way he operates the line of attack and defence is just, um, it's just incredible. He's, he's one of the smartest guys I've ever uh, dealt with. And he's, his temperament is fantastic as well. Uh, he's got a fantastic work ethic that I probably don't, other people wouldn't really appreciate how hard he works. And I think like he was, for the foreigners' point of view, we'd, we'd go to him as well just to make sure we'd get the point across and, and vice versa as well. And um, yeah, it's 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 a uh, very very good. And then Boris Palu is, is just uh, got his first cap there in the last Six Nations, uh, which is great. He's um, you know was was gassed. One of the he was one of the older guys in the in the in our pack last weekend, and he's 24. Uh, so it's he's he's developing into a great player, and um, he's he, once again he's he's a great footballer on the park, and, and he's got. Yeah, he's just very, very smart, and um, it's just yeah. So I, I kind of learn, I learn from them, and um, they probably probably laugh, laugh at me half the time. But uh, so, but to be fair, they're they're, they're great guys to, to deal with, and uh, we've got a good uh, good atmosphere around in the pack. Obviously, you learned in the backs as well. <laughs> Obviously, you learned from the best in Paul O'Connell. So do you feel a responsibility to pass on one you've learned to, to other people? Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'd have. Um, yeah, you, well, you try and pass on whatever information you have you can, and if it's uh, if it works, um, yeah, I, 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 I learned a bit off Paul, and and you, you learn you learn from all over the place, and basically just you pick what you feel is what you think of where it works, and then what you, and then you've, you've got your own ideas as well, and um, and then basically if if that's that's the whole beauty, we have a good meeting every Monday with all the lineups leaders. We've we've we formed a group there the last couple of years, which has been good, and uh, that's just very. We try to develop a lot of our younger guys uh, to make sure that they feel comfortable if they were going into calls. So it's a good platform for them to be, you know, in a smaller group. Younger guys can feel comfortable to voice their opinions and stuff. And um, so doing those, and when you know guys who speaks speaks. Um, uh, I suppose speaks uh, or gives an opinion that uh, you know where his head is at and where the reason that's a good idea or a bad idea and um, I think there's a good synergy there as well um, so it's that's been really I suppose really from our point from my point of view and for the last time I've been here uh, it's been good as we've really tried to develop leaders in our pack because it's so young and um, I think we're I think we're in a better place uh, just even from that small change that we had 